side that are still to win at home in the league. Now without defenders, Mickey Droy, who's got a kidney operation coming up next week and may be out for four months, and David Hay, who's got a knee injury. But Duncan McKenzie, who missed the midweek game against New York Cosmos, returns to the attack. And keeping his place in the defence is David Stride. Uh, here is 20-year-old David, who made his first appearance in the first division in a 1-1 draw at Birmingham last Saturday. West Bromwich Albion come with this side. Tony Brown gets back into the team now with 208 league goals to his credit, wanting just one now for a West Bromwich Albion record held by Ronnie Allen. John Truick moves down to substitute and might have the legs of Batson. Good cross coming in there, Swain couldn't get to it, Statham food, and now it's Chelsea's turn to get a corner. Tony Gordon in the West Bromwich Albion goal. Himself there. Wilkins with a long cross. Wicks coming in with a header. And the look of bewilderment in that West Bromwich Albion defence really has to be seen to be believed. And Chelsea get a breakthrough they must have dreamt about. With four minutes gone, Wicks, the man who gets up the corner by Ray Wilkins, deep. And there was Wicks above them all, beyond Gordon, into the back of the net. Chelsea won, West Bromwich Albion nil, and in fact, uh, Wicks is the scorer, but Mackenzie is injured and was well inside the West Bromwich Albion half when the kickoff went. So Chelsea in front, but the damage is done to Mackenzie, who's going off the field. back to Peter Bonetti. Well, Mackenzie was injured, and in fact, when that kick... And stayed them with the kick. Brown. Regis to Tony Brown. Batson. And another good cross coming in, and Bonetti under pressure. Cunningham with a chance to put it back, and Bonetti didn't know where it was going. It hit him on the body and uh, got it away, but not for long as Regis jumps for that one, and a goal kick given. Certainly looked from the moment that Peter Bonetti didn't quite gather that ball that Cunningham might have had a chance and he shot ricocheting off the body of uh, Peter Bonetti as Bonetti tried to get back. Alistair Robertson to John Wilde for West Bromwich Albion. Strides header. Stanley. Robertson it's Harris's header it only comes to Regis oh it's a chance for Regis here and he's made it well that was a beautiful bit of skill by Regis Got past two defenders, and when the opening was there, what a bullet-like shot it was. Bonetti got a hand to it, but it wasn't enough to stop it going into the Chelsea net. Chelsea won, West Bromwich Albion won. 21 minutes gone, Cyril Regis, the scorer, is third of the season. Swain. Mackenzie. Hello. Chelsea defence really dissolved there when Regis uh, got possession on the edge of their box. And they were really made to pay. Just wondering whether he will last the whole game. That's obviously a problem at elbow. Statham for West Brom. Langley there first. Mackenzie. Oh, what a ball by Mackenzie for Langley. And what a goal that would have been. Superbly played ball by Duncan Mackenzie over the top of the back four, encouraging Langley to have a run at it. And a shot that was going wide. Oh, it's got to be a foul by Wicks on Cunningham. 
Free kick to Albion. Statham. That's a good cross. Oh, lovely piece of play by Statham. And Ali Brown very nearly got on the end of that one. Ron Atkinson, the West Brom manager, just going up those steps out of the director's box to get down in these last seconds before half-time to get to the dressing room. And here Statham, maybe the last strike before the interval. Stopped by Tommy Langley. Both the linesmen have signaled to the referee that uh, on their watch his time is up and Ron Chalice is looking at his watch as well. Robson with the throw for West Brom. And the half-time whistle. Well, not a bad first 20 minutes to it at any rate, with Chelsea going into the lead with that goal. In fact, the two scorers are there. Steve Wicks, the number five, having put Chelsea head after four minutes with that towering header from a corner. And then Cyril Regis, dodging his way into the Chelsea penalty area, unleashing a great drive, which Peter Benetti got his hands to, but couldn't stop to get the equaliser for Albion after 21 minutes. A game that lost its way a little bit as we came towards half-time. Let's hope that things are improving all the time in the second half, where the question really is going to be whether that number 11 going in there for Chelsea, Duncan McKenzie, with the injured arm, will in fact come out to start the second half. We shall see that in a moment. A half-time score then at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea 1, West Bromwich Albion 1. trouble deciding who's going to take the throw now it's Laurie Cunningham quite a good long one there oh and a missed kick and Robson was very nearly in there a missed kick by Kenny Swain and Robson very nearly made something of that so another corner for Albion again Tony Brown with it curling right in there and it's into the back of the net and it's John Wilde who's put it there Tony Brown's corner, John Wilde at the near post, a backward header. His first goal of the season, and it puts Chelsea behind. Chelsea 1, West Bromwich Albion 2. Cantello. Bit of space here for Cyril Regis to come and attack the Chelsea defence. Lewington's after him now. And a foul on the West Bromwich Albion striker. Free kick already taken. Tony Brown is in there. That's another one, and it's the record. And that goal then by Tony Brown equals the West Bromwich Albion scoring record. 208 goals, and he shares it with Ronnie Allen. And what a tremendous servant. Bomber Brown has been to this West Bromwich Albion club and he's put them 3-1 into the lead. Again, that quick thinking following the free kick. Pass Peter Bonetti. Chelsea 1, West Bromwich Albion 3. Regis. Suddenly they look very dangerous indeed to Albion. Here's Cunningham. Brian Robson outside him. Cantello trying to get in on the act this time. Cunningham, what a good shot and what a good save. That was an amazing shot by uh, Laurie Cunningham though. There was a minimum of backlift there and woof, it went off like a rocket and so too did Peter Bonetti, putting it behind for the corner. Great play by Laurie Cunningham. Tony Brown with the West Bromwich Albion corner. And the header, look at the unmarked John Wilde getting in there and really unchallenged as he went for that header with two Chelsea defenders, Gary Locke and uh, Ron Harris, both standing close to him and really not getting off the ground. It's an amazing home record at the moment for Chelsea. Uh, it looks like four successive defeats. And at the moment they've conceded 11 goals and scored only two at home. Stanley, casualty clearing station out there at the moment. Is Batson? Yeah. 
Regis is back heel, and what a beautiful one for Cunningham, and a nice bit of play by him as well. Robson going in there, and pushed away by Peter Bonetti. Lovely piece of play there involving Regis and Cunningham. And then Robson going through with a raking drive there, again saved by Bonetti. Brown with the corner. Wiles going in towards this one again, heading it down. And in the end, Chelsea scrambled it away. It was Kenny Swain who got it away. But every time there's a corner, every time there's a cross, Chelsea seem to be in some sort of trouble there. Regis with this shot over the crossbar this time, and a goal kick. Regis. Shaken off the ball, but it's a corner from Steve Wicks. scored the first goal for Albion today, Cyril Regis. Amazing to think that a couple of years ago he was working on building sites as an electrician, not a few, more than a five or six miles from here, and playing for Hayes in the Isthmian League. Well, that's a shot from Alistair Brown, charged down by Ron Harris. Here's Statham. Cross coming in again towards Weil. And Robson right there. And onside. It was a good jump there by uh, Cyril Regis. And Robson at the far post, but the header quite easily saved by Bonetti. It's an Albion throw. Cunningham away, stopped by Wicks. Played forward again for Regis. Now for Cunningham, took that nicely in his stride. He's got Tony Brown up on this side, and Cunningham... That was a bad piece of play by Laurie Cunningham, because Brown had taken a brilliant run down the right-hand side, and... And uh, Brown really was expecting the pass and should have had the pass, but Cunningham went on and had a go, and it wasn't a very good one. Wilkins to Laurie. Lewington, Wilkins, now stride, played for Swain, oh and Godden missed it, and both Lewington and Wilkins were nearly there to punish that half mistake by the Albion keeper, just dropped the ball for a fraction, uh, Lewington ducked in as if to get a header, Ray Wilkins went in, thrashing as if to get in a shot. And there seems to be a problem here with uh, Tony Brown. So Tony Brown, who scored the third goal for West Bromwich Albion today, limping off. And it's going to be John Truick who comes on. Played on again for Langley. But not quite the finish that was required. Good ball by Wilkins. And the fans flocking away with about six or seven minutes to go. In fact, I noticed that some of them were moving out with just under a quarter of an hour to go. Not at the moment. Happy days for Chelsea Football Club. Cunningham. Regis, Wilkins dummying Cantello, and Walker, beautifully timed run, and he might get it in, no, well Langley surely will, no, just touched by Godden wide of the post, what a beautifully timed run by Clive Walker, there was a, a suspicion of offside about it, but the linesman said no, and uh, the ball came back for Tommy Langley, it looked as though he must score, but Godden just got a touch to it.